is going on, Swill Gang? How is everybody? All right, so season six, guys, it is upon us right now. We got some new heroes, we got some new gear, and we have a new attitude, okay? We got all this stuff that's going on right now, and it's fantastic, all right? So we're gonna talk about the second of the two heroes that we got for here for season six, AKA multipolar, um, whatever they wanna call it, but it's pretty much season six, all right? So we got Ava, okay, the cult debater. All right, so with this episode, we're gonna be talking about her skills, not reading the skills because I know you guys can read for yourselves. We're not doing that, but I'm gonna, you know, do what I can to help you guys do what I can do. Um, we're gonna talk about her gear also, some gear possibilities and some things like that. Lineups, I don't really have this character yet, so I don't wanna do too much with the lineups, but we'll kinda like, you know, as we got some time going through, we can, we can do what we can do. All right, so it is what it is. Let's see. All right, so let's go ahead and go into her, her skills here. So, of course, she's a, she is a wilding. So let's watch the animation that she's got. That looks so sick, man. That looks so sick. That's nice. She's a, she's a support character, tactic planner, and summit. All right, and she's also a five skill hero, okay? So first skill, it's called Seed of Light, okay? All right, so applies the seed of life to one enemy target, choosing from the targets not have have been marked by the seed of life first. The seed of life will take effect to the carrier. Oh, when the carrier dies or a single damage, it takes exceeds 20% of its max hit points, dealing 72% tack damage to all enemy targets and restoring some hit points equal to tack damage dealt. Nice. Almost similar to the other, other hero that we got. Um, for your hero with the lowest hit points. And the damage goes from 72%, 82, 92, 100, and 120. Okay. She seems pretty cool, man. Honestly, I think the, I don't know, I'm not going to say which one's better, but I think the other one's probably better. This one's good too. All right. So the next one is called Nature's Fury. All right. So she gains 250 focus when the battle starts. Ava gains 50 focus when your heroes. Your hero or heroes cast or casts focus skills. Okay, so focus goes from 250, 300, 350, 400, all the way to 500, and then the other focus for the the when it's cast when a hero's cast a focus skill goes from 50, 60, 70, 80, and 100. Okay, next skill is called Corvine Curse. Corvine Curse or Corvine Curse, however it is it's, it's pronounced. At the beginning of each round, interferes with a random enemy, target choosing from ones not having been cursed yet, making all its attributes minus 4%, and poison damage, what? Poisoning damage it takes increased by 50%, lasting three rounds. Okay, I'm sold off this already, off the bat. Third skill is like, it's got some Kung Pao chicken to it, honestly. Yeah, third skill, that's where it's at. So, level up effect. For the attribute goes from 4, 4.8, 5.6, 6.4, and also 8%. And the damage increase with the poison effect, I guess it's 50%, 60, 70, 80, and 100. Okay, that's pretty pretty notable. Next skill is called Seed Enhancement. All right, so it deals 15% extra attack damage when the Seed of Life takes effect. So keep in mind, first skill and the fourth skill go hand in hand. They pretty much co-sign with each other. They're married. And the damage goes from 15, 18, 2%, or 21%, sorry, 24%, and 30%. Last but not least, Soul Split is the fifth skill. Increase some intelligent strength agility equal to 2.5 of Ava's intelligent strength agility for your heroes with the highest intelligent strength agility, respectively. What? All right, so increases some. All right, so increases some int strength agility equal to 2.5. It goes to 3, 3.5, 4, and 5. Hmm, 2.5 of Ava's intelligent strength agility. Okay, so basically, so she's going to pretty much buff your heroes with the highest intelligent strength agility. For what I'm reading off of this, I could be wrong if I'm wrong. Please correct me in the comments below, guys. This is kind of, that one's kind of confusing a little bit. Um, but that's her skills there. And 
Let me see. Let's go ahead and go talk about some gear real quick. All right, so see the life. If you're ever trying to figure it out, so it's tech damage. So of course, it's going to be intelligence on the gear. And if you look at the gear factory, which I know you guys love, the gear factory, it's everybody's favorite. And you only got that one set that comes with season six. We won't go over the other seasons. You guys should know what those ones are by now. But I can just, you know, give you guys, yeah, this is good, this is good, this is good, that kind of thing. But, when, like I said, when a season comes out, like I said, the gear that comes out with that season should be geared toward those heroes. Should. Not always the case, but that's how it should work, okay? And this season, we got the Ripper Strength, and we got the Ripper Intelligence. All right, so we got the Ripper Gauntlets. We got the uh, Bone, Great Bone Helmet, Great Beast Armor, and Beast Blood Amber, okay? Those are what we got for season six. And we'll look at the details real quick here. If you guys got the two sets on for the Ripper, it's going to, the normal attack damage is going to go increase by plus 20%. If you got the four set, normal attacks cause bleeding, dealing 35% damage to the target for two rounds. Honestly, I'm putting this on her and that's it. I'm not putting anything else on her. Both heroes that we have, I'm going to put the same gear on both and just call it a day, okay? Usually what happens, you get these little boxes where you can do your pulls and you can pull this gear anyway. So you're gonna get the gear for free. You don't have to worry about crafting it. Now, when you craft your gear, of course you're gonna craft the higher level one, but just start off fresh out the box. They're gonna give you some gear at this, um, I guess I wanna call it like entry level, I guess you could say. But in the, in the event that you don't have those, you can throw on some other season gear with intelligence on each one, like hurricane, um, death, things like that. So that's pretty much all I'll say with that. Lineups, I don't really want to talk about lineup with this one too much because I don't have these characters yet. And when I do get the characters, which I will have them today, when I do my pull tonight, I will have both. I will have to keep leveling them up. I'm gonna map, I think I, I think these ones, these two right here are worth maxing out off the bat, period, okay? I may not max it out on this account, but my main account, I will max that out off the bat, okay? I'll spend the dough on that one and do what I gotta do, all right? So, hopefully this does help you guys out. Hopefully it does whet you, whet you guys' appetites. Those of you guys that are not in season six yet, it whets your appetite and makes you guys wish that you were there right off the bat. But until then, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm signing off. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.